Hello, Scorpio, and thank you so much for coming to your, like, end of April, beginning of May reading, kind of. Now, we're just going to hop right into the tarot. I have meditated on your energy, and I feel as though you have some sort of um, decision to make right now. You may be, like, at a crossroads, especially due to this full moon. I feel like something you've been avoiding dealing with or coming into contact with is finally at your front door. So I'm hearing knock, knock, knock. So somebody could be actually knocking on your front door right now. Or just trying to get into contact with you. Or somebody could be telling you a knock, knock joke as well. You may think it's a little bit um, just petty. Or you just maybe your child, actually, I'm hearing, is telling you a knock, knock joke. So first card that we have out here is the eight of pentacles so you're investing you're working you're hard at work you're trying to accomplish what your main focus is right now but you're working you're diligently working on something it could be yourself as well i see you also at the gym too actually just um doing some bicep curls you may have some aries in your chart because i remember seeing that in the aries reading as well now with the world card in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse right here it seems as though you probably were dealing with like a fire sign or you may have some fire in your, ch your chart but there seems to be this um cycle that you feel really stuck in and it could be with the fire sign what is the world card spirit? All right, so we have the nine of cu the nine of cups here. So there's this cycle that I feel as though you're breaking free from. That is a wish fulfillment for you in a way. Okay. All right, so we have the two of wands reverse and the three of pentacles upright. Okay, maybe I feel so I feel like you're coming into the realization that something you had invested in probably wasn't the best smartest investment because I feel like somebody you were working with possibly a fire sign you snubbed and now you're thinking back at this situation and realizing you probably didn't make the best choice or it was a very impulsive selfish kind of decision something that was only for your own best interest I feel like when you made this decision it was kind of um me 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 and now maybe possibly somebody's coming back around now wanting to work or work together on something with you Yeah, if I'm hearing talentless, so maybe somebody thought you were talentless or you thought somebody was talentless or somebody had no drive or no motivation. You didn't think that um, they had enough passion or spunk to make it. So I feel as though you're seeing somebody's wish right come right in front of their face. Yeah, somebody's gone through some sort of rebirth in their money and they're setting off into something new into new partnerships new goals new dreams new just new connections in general and i feel like somebody here is being left behind in some like money or business matters because i feel like feel like somebody here wanted to work with the other person but uh the other person was acting very like high and mighty like they were above maybe this person had more of a social media presence than the other with the three of pentacles here you kind of see the other two guys looking at the other guy like acting or performing so maybe somebody was putting on a show or a facade for the peoples and because maybe you didn't play into that sh facade they had cut you not realizing that authenticity was what was going to take them far so now somebody here is messed up in their money and a lot of things, a lot of endings are happening for them. Yeah, I feel like you're also walking towards capable partnerships that will allow you to grow and also accept you for who you are. I feel like you're going to more like going towards more like minded people. So you could be um, a water sign for sure because this is a Pisces reading, but you could have some fire in your chart as well. So I feel like you want to be around very creative um 
creative individuals who can literally make like um music or just art out of anything yeah so we have the devil card and the queen of swords in reverse so you could have been dealing with the libra gemini aquarius here who you feel like was controlled by the industry is what i'm hearing the industry because the devil card is capricorn and capricorn rules the industry rules um in like certain um infrastructures and just that and just structures in general so i feel as though there was somebody here queen of swords who was um investing into all these i guess luxuries is what i'm hearing however they were blindsided by something or they were being untruthful about something probably to themselves about maybe what they truly really wanted picking up on gemini All right, so yeah, so there's the three of swords here. I feel as though somebody, because somebody withheld some sort of truth or refused to come clean about something, um, I feel as though there's now, there's been this heartbreak in this situation, which I feel like you're now getting over because now I feel like the universe has allowed you to move forward and kind of move on from the situation kind of have like a whole rebirth situation here like a phoenix rising that might be the title of your reading here so with the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles in reverse i feel like there was probably this business partnership or this couple almost who were in some sort of i want to say a position of power or these were probably your bosses i'm not too sure but i feel like they kind of abused their power when they were in power because now i feel like something is changing something is shifting for you because you have here the nine of cups you have some fulfillment of wishes happening for you so you may be receiving some sort of promotion all right so we have the nine of swords here so somebody's really super in their heads because i feel like they're realizing they made the wrong decision because maybe the path they decided to go on and who they decided to rub shoulders with they're realizing that that the same people they were acting to be the devil like energy that they were in they're realizing they were rubbing shoulders with the, those same individuals who also um pulled the wool over their eyes I'm also hearing wolf in sheep's clothing. So it could have been somebody was manipulating a situation, trying to act all soft, good, and innocent. However, they were like vicious and mean underneath. Oh, wow. This is something specific I'm picking up on. All right. So any more messages for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. All right, so we have the nine of pentacles here. I feel like somebody's really in their head about their business. Somebody's business could be going under. We also have the queen of pentacles here. I feel like some business venture somebody started or um, somebody linking their money to this um, industry or something like that is really becoming their downfall. And I feel, as, feel like they're... This person has been utilizing their money in all the wrong places and also spending it on people who merely want to enjoy their money rather than help them when they're going through their issues. I feel like this person's realizing like why they really have people around them. This could be you, Scorpio. All right, so we have the five of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there was somebody here left out in the cold. Okay, this could be this could be some sort of friend situation or some sort of like partnership or relationship you were in, but I feel like somebody here left you out in the cold basically, went on to some other group, this other entity, thought they would be happy there for sure, but realized it was all lies and now they're feeling like sad. But they're they're too prideful to say anything now. So, any more messages for Scorpio? We're not going to take those, man. Messages for Scorpio. Along with the devil card here, I feel as though somebody might feel chained to something, chained to a business, chained to a job, chained to a role that they have, a status, thinking that they will have the status for so for a long time, not realizing like this was not an opportunity that was given by the divine. 
So therefore, it will. It, there's this energy of it draining you eventually. Though everything drains you. Uh, so we also have the Ace of Cups here. I honestly see this card as like a tearful card. So some, I feel, I hear now somebody crying, because like having an outburst. Also, I see somebody getting some good, um, like good news that's going to make them very emotional. So I feel like there's going to be two reactions to a, something happening. Yeah. So there's the Four of Swords here. I feel like there's going to be somebody just relaxing and chilling and then receiving some good news. Kind of, oh my shocked almost but i feel like this shocking news also puts a lot of people in despair it puts a lot of people in shock and dismay all right but i feel like there's this need for you to go rest and rejuvenate and just take time for yourself right now scorpio so you may just want to you know clear out and stay away from the drama could be what you're telling yourself or that's the advice i'm giving you man that's the advice i'm giving you all right, so we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel as though it's safe for you to just leave the situation am amicably and with your dignity. Leaving with dignity. That's what it is. Leaving with dignity. Can't have my dignity. So I really feel as though this person really wanted you to grovel for them. They let you go and they wanted you to come back begging for them. Excuse me. Are y'all crazy? So if you're a crosswalker, crosswatcher, you crazy, you wildin'. <laughs> All right, so we also have the chariot. So you could have been dealing with a Pisces, I mean a Cancer, that you could be just, you know, making your, your move away from right now because you, you want nothing to do with the situation anymore. All right. All right, so we also have the sun card in reverse. You could also just feel as though this situation doesn't make you happy or you find no more happiness in this situation could be also dealing with the leo as well but i feel like there's going to be some like little banter or little communication back here here and there but i don't feel like it's going to be anything substantial for you guys to get back into this partnership somebody kind of knows they've lost you and they're in some sort of despair about that all right thank you so much scorpio for coming to this reading if anything resonated please be sure to like and you know comment down below so you know people know me see me more i feel like i'm cool and i'll catch you guys in another reading bye